Hey guys, so today we're gonna be doing a tutorial on how to block your crochet stuff. So let's get to it. Okay, so first you're gonna need a tub of water in any sort of container. If you are blocking a clothing or garment, you're gonna need a bigger container. However, I'm just gonna be blocking my little keychains. So I'm doing a clover keychain, but the clover keeps curling up like this, and I'm afraid that it won't be very obvious that it's a clover so I'm gonna be blocking it and I'm gonna show you how so aside from your container you're gonna need your crochet pieces I have eight clovers today you're gonna need some sort of cardboard or sponge material I did buy this off an uh, online website I bought four of these it's a play mat so you can kind of like connect them together so before I can make a huge one for like clothing I have this and I also have a bunch of pins with sharp ends and like a T at the top so it doesn't poke me yeah so I bought it together for specifically for blocking only yeah so let's get to the tutorial okay I'm gonna be filming with one hand and the other hand will be holding the camera <laughs> so First, you're gonna get all your crochet stuff, kinda dump it in the water, and make sure they're completely soaked. Because my crochet stuff is made of cotton acrylic, so since it has acrylic, it doesn't absorb water as well, so I need to completely submerge it. Now that I got my towel, you're gonna grab your wet crochet pieces. Try not to squeeze them too hard, but I'm gonna like squeeze mine gently since mine's not really like a wearable or anything too fragile. Yeah, but squeezing it with your hands is not recommended. So, first, you're gonna grab crochet piece, lay it down flat, and roll it with the towel I only have one hand right now so it's a bit hard to roll all eight but this is roughly the process so if you have a garment just spread it up and take a towel wrap it and start rolling it gently this is to gently dry the garment or crochet piece Something like this and I'm gonna set it aside on my mat so I'm gonna continue it for the next seven and be right back a few moments later now with your crochet pieces that are slightly wet I'm gonna grab one and start pinning it down but when I pin it down I'm gonna make sure that it's slightly spread Part, like, like it stretches a bit. It's resting position, right? I'm gonna like stretch it a bit and then pin it down. Something like this. And I'm gonna do it for all the sides. If you have granny squares, you could also just stack them up like maybe four in one but I'm just going to show you how just for the first one Stretch it a bit and then pin Yep, something like this And after it dries, it will stay like this So there's the first one down and I'm gonna try and do it 
two together update I just did three of them together but instead of pinning and placing them together I just placed them together on and pin them before placing on the mat so I'm gonna try and see how it goes now okay Oh, it was much easier than the first one, I mean the second two that I did, like so much easier. So I definitely recommend this method instead. And yeah, I can like just push them down. Wow, it's looking good. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Now we will wait for it to dry, it usually takes up overnight for it to dry for mine, however I did stack mine with a tree so it could take a bit longer to dry as compared to the first one, I might try spreading it out a bit so it can dry faster and once it dries you can just plug the pins out and yeah I will show you guys the results the next day. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I just want to show you how it looks like now. This is how it looks like and I'm just going to grab all the pins out. So, it's definitely much better than previously when I, before blocking it, it kept curling up. But I think it's a little bit better now although not perfect it could also be because of the tension that I did it might be a bit too tight so which is why it's curling up even after blocking which I think is okay okay it still curls up a bit but not as bad still okay, I don't mind. These are much nicer now. <clears throat> and we're done! I'm gonna do a before and after just to show you a comparison. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys again soon. Bye bye.